Okay guys, so today we are doing, we're getting into photos. I've had so many people say, hey, are you gonna do a photo session? And we are, but this one's a little different and probably not what you were expecting. Um, a lot of people don't realize that photos can, two things, photos can create multiple libraries. So a lot of us are like, well, you have one library and you wanna separate it so that you know you have your family stuff and you have your work stuff or your whatever it is and you don't want to have to do it all in one because when you're at work with your computer, you don't want everybody at work seeing all your family photos and vice versa. So this is number one. This is where you and I can actually create new libraries. So you'll actually see here, and before, before I get into this, um, I want you guys to realize that there's gotta be a reason that you wanna create a new library and utilize it because you can't put the two libraries back together. So if you separate them, if you decide, oh, a year down the road, all that organizing that I did in this one and all the organizing that I did in this one, one of them is gonna get lost because you're literally just gonna take all the photos and move it. That's gonna be a pain. But for those of us that want two separate or three or four or infinite, this is, this is how you do it. So nice and simply here, I'm just gonna bring up my screen recorder for you, you fine folks out there. And here, here's the Photos app right here. Now, if we just click on it, of course, normally it just opens up. Fantastic. It sits there. What more do you want? Now, if you put your mouse on it, but before you click on it, you hold your Option key down. So you'll see the Option key right here. There's one on each side of the space bar. So I'm gonna hold that and now click it. And you actually see you have the ability to do a couple things. Number one is choose a library, right? So you'll see that's the default. And choosing a library is gonna be really beneficial for when you and I create multiple libraries, because then we can choose which one we wanna open, right? So let's say, for instance, well, I only have that one. Uh, let's say, for instance, I wanted a library for work, right? So they didn't have all the stuff just kind of blood in with all my, my family photos. So I say create a new one. Now it says, what do you want to call it? And I could be like, oh, this is work photos, right? Where do you want to put it? Pictures seems like a reasonable spot. Um, you could put it anywhere. Now this is a big key too. Uh, you could put this library on an external hard drive. And that is really nice for those of us that have a laptop that's running low on space. We could actually put this on an external and then you know, move that between computers if you wanted to, That that's fine. Just realize that your photo library won't work if that external hard drive isn't plugged in, right? So just kind of be aware of that. But I'm gonna hit okay, it says cool, and it actually comes up empty library, right? So empty library, I'm gonna quit this, and this time again, we're gonna do the same thing, option. We're gonna click on that. Now you'll actually see there's two libraries, my work one, which was the last one opened, and my existing, the, the one that I use primarily. So I could click on that and say, choose that one. And it opens up and has all my stuff back again. That's super nice. The key here is realizing that these libraries, for me, because this is where I put it, is in that, that photos. So I put it in my pictures or my photos folder. So if I come here, and let's see if I can see it here. I should have it, yeah, under my Greg and then there should be pictures, and you'll actually see one library, two libraries. So there's two separate libraries. And again, these are both on this computer right now. If I didn't want them on this computer, if I had a hard drive plugged in, I could take this and just drag it over to the external hard drive, and that's gonna free up a ton of space here. So that's kind of nice too, if you and I are kind of running low on hard drive space or want that ability to be able to take your library with you without having to bring your computer. Let's say I have my iMac and this one, and I decide, well, I just want my library here so I can plug it into the iMac, or I can take it and plug it into my wife's computer, or plug it, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Kind of nice, and if you don't want it, you can just click on this, because I don't really need this work one, because that's not something I want. I'm just gonna delete it, because it's empty, right? So back, back to normal. Now, the other reason that creating a second library can be nice is if your primary li library has an issue or a problem. You know, it, you try to open it and it doesn't open. Because um, that at that point in time, we're like, well, what's causing the issue? We don't know. Is it the, the photos program? Is it a 
problem with the operating system or is it the library? Um, so the first thing and the easiest thing for us to check really is just to see if the library is not functioning. And if we create a new library, which is what I just did there, and that one has an issue opening, then we know that the problem isn't the library itself, which is good because that's where all of our pictures are being stored. Um, we know it's either the Photos application, and, and at that point we can reinstall Photos if we needed to, or we may have to go further and figure out if there's a problem with the actual operating system. But that's a good, good first step. Now, if you are having problems, let's say you do create that second library, and that second library opens up no problem, um, we could then realize that it could be the library itself, right? The library itself. Did I explain that right before? If the new library doesn't open, then it's a bigger problem. If the new library does open, then it's a good chance that it's the library that's the problem. Okay, hopefully that's not too confusing. If it is the library, one of the things you, get, you and I can do is do a, a, a library repair. So again, if we come down here, and let's say for whatever reason I try to open up photos and the, it just hangs and it doesn't open because that's when panic sets in. First thing to do, first thing to do is reboot your computer, turn it off, let it sit for a minute, turn it back on and see if that fixes it. Because sometimes it's just a glitch, right? We get a glitch in the matrix, that happens. But if that doesn't fix it, next thing that we do before we call Apple or whatever, try to figure out what's going on, is same thing. We're gonna go down to that photos icon but this time we're going to Option and Command together, Option and Command, and we're gonna click on it. And you'll see it comes up and says, you are about to repair the photo library. So at this point in time, you can quit it, which is what I'm gonna do, or you can hit the repair button and the repair button will go through the library and just reestablish all the files that are needed, reestablish all the database stuff. Uh, depending on the size of your library, be aware. Don't just do this to do this, especially if you have a library that's got thousands and thousands of photos in it, because this can take a long time. So if you're like, I'm gonna repair it right now just to see what it does, but I also wanna work on my photo library in about five minutes or less, um, you're gonna be uh, sad because you can't, because it needs to finish. You need, what you started needs to finish. You don't wanna interrupt that repair because it's realigning and getting files all back in order again. So I'm gonna quit, but it is, it is really important to realize those two. Those are things that most people don't really realize with uh, the Photos application. Number one is that you, you aren't just stuck with one library. You can have multiple libraries and those libraries don't have to reside on the primary drive. They can reside on an external, which is which is great. Second is that you can repair, repair, you can repair, you can repair a corrupt or damaged library. And and even like myself, on occasion, uh, if I know I'm not gonna be using photos for you know a day or so, or it's at night and I'm like, oh, you know what? I'll actually do a repair just just to let it go through the process. It could take hours. Doesn't matter, I'll be asleep or whatever. It can, it can do its thing. Uh, not something I do very often, but if I do notice the software for whatever reason, maybe acting a little slow or anything like that, I'll do a repair on it just to, just to let it run at its, at its peak, I guess. There you go, guys. That's, that's today's, today's little lesson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully that's of use because uh, when I found those ones out, I thought they were, they were great. Just watch the repair one. Don't go just using it to use it. And watch the making a new library. I, when I, again, for a lot of you folks, you know that I used to work at Apple. And I remember seeing people come in and I would be like, so I noticed that you have like 11 different libraries. And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, why? And they're like, I don't know. I'm like, cool. That's just gonna be nothing but a headache at some point. There's gotta be reason. There's gotta be a reason you're doing it. Because like I said, taking those libraries, doesn't matter if it's two different libraries or more, and putting them back together is doable, sort of. We can get the photos into the other library, but any organizing that we've done, that's not coming. No. And, and some of the edits won't even come. You'll just get the original files. Oh yeah. All right, guys, uh, if you have any questions on this, uh, leave comments down below. I kind of get into this little bit of a ramble. And when you and I aren't face to face, uh, I don't know when you get confused or if you're understanding what I'm saying. So if you do have some questions, leave them down below. I'm always interested, always 
here to help if I can. And uh, that's it for today. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and uh, we will see you again tomorrow morning. Later, my friends.